Everyone, I'm back again. Um, I'm having my usual day of filming videos, and then I'll probably either, don't know, might upload them all today, or I might do them throughout the week. I haven't decided yet. So this is me just having a play with those foils I showed in a video, in my magazine video. So I got some of my embossing folders. I have this one. Hopefully you can see all right. It's not glaring too much it's hard to show foil because it will glare but I think it's coming out okay um, so this was the embossing folder that came with the foils this bit here I've just gone over with one of my gilding waxes which has um, dulled it down a bit so I plan to play I'll probably use this in three sections on a card so I once I've made them into cards then I will show that in another video um, so yeah, it works well with gilding waxes, it dulls it down, so that's that one. I'm not going to get any more gilding waxes, so I've decided I'll just get them to do up here. Because um, I've probably said before, a lot of, perhaps if I get this the right way around to open it. Um, a lot of my friends, well not a lot of them, but quite a few of my friends have said their gilding waxes have gone really hard and um, all they keep getting told by creative expressions is just to use um blending solution to sort of make it softer but like i've heard uh, it's not a product you like use all the time so it's disappointing mine have gone quite hard um so i'm not going to be buying any more creative expression waxes so um I'll just keep to those ones until they use up. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with them, but never mind, we all learn. Then I've embossed this one. I'm really not sure if it's going to show up, so I think you can kind of see it if I hold it like that. Um, so yeah, I've embossed that one, and then I plan to put that in the middle. That was also with one of the magazine freebies, so, um, so I plan to do that with that one. Then, this is only just a little video, um, then this is the other embossing folder. So I will say these, they're like proper foil sheets. I don't know if you could like use your kitchen foil and do it and then I plan to use them on there somehow. So yeah, I just wanted to show you those and my thoughts on gilding waxes. So it's been a bit disappointing with them really. Uh, these I love so I'm going to keep an eye out for more for us because I really like how it looks and I want to play a bit more. I could do it on camera but I'm not sure quite how it would turn out so um, and with how my head is at the moment I don't think it would be a good idea for me to do a video on camera. It could go totally, um, I mean not a video on camera, I see what I mean? A card on there, I mean I hope my videos aren't boring you too much but yeah this has turned out great uh, I mean if I had I haven't got one at the moment I might try it with um, a nail file where you scrape it back and then put ink on actually um, so yeah I really do quite impressed with that idea in fact talking about that I think I will play with these on, vid um, on video I won't make them into cards but I will just do the gilding wax on there just so you can see see sometimes I say I'm not going to do something and then all of a sudden it's like oh actually why not so the middle section I've done with the green which is vintage gold green which just dulled it back down so I want to see what it's like with the red I've used this red so much and it is deep red so it's going to come out a bit coppery on here but um, I just want to see how it works you know it's nice just to have a play I mean it's only a bit of foil so it's not too drastic and it was free in a magazine freebie oh so yeah that's working um, well on there I don't know if you want me to carry on going but while I'm here I might as well um, yeah, so let me know if you're busy making Christmas cards, you know, if you're going to do any sales yourself or what you're up to, because it's nice to know, and um, let me know what you think of my videos. Oh, I had my first um, 
Thumbs Town on a video, which um, didn't really upset me, but I just think, I mean, not all videos are my cup of tea, so if it's, if I start watching something and I think, oh, it's not my sort of thing, then I just stop watching, I don't even, like, leave a comment or anything. It just seems a bit pointless and mean to me. Maybe it's because when in my younger days I got bullied and picked on so much, it's made me a bit different. I try and treat people how I want to be treated. So it's just like, oh, that's really, um, that really has changed that one. So I'm just going to get some kitchen towel just to buff it up a bit. On the bottom one, I want to try my t um, Tim Holtz on that. So I want to get that. Yeah, I just, you know. I know it's not like they left a nasty comment. If the video, if my videos aren't your cup of tea, then stop watching. Um, I mean, not all my videos might be your cup of tea, but just I just don't know why people have to leave nasty comments on people's videos and stuff. It just seems pointless and mean you know there's enough bad stuff going on in the world why then do that I mean I haven't had any unpleasant comments I've only had this thumbs down which just didn't really bother me I just noticed it and thought oh well not that person's cup of tea I can't even remember what video it was on now so it didn't really it didn't really bother me as much it's just I just can't see the point now I know YouTube does it so people can see feedback and stuff like that I'm just rubbing this in some more so yeah just don't watch that video scroll on you know go on to something else I mean there's some videos I've seen that I think oh that's not my cup of tea but I've just stopped watching it and gone on to something else um or sometimes I might watch part of the video because then the next bit's not quite my cup of tea but even then I would still leave a nice comment I wouldn't be unpleasant I just really can't see the point in it anyway sorry I was getting on a bit of a rant there so I must stop so that's actually the yeah, answer's not but it's really hard to know I have to keep getting up and down to see if it's showing on the camera without it blowing so that's just like it's better in person it's just toned it down and given it quite a vintage look so I'm just going to get one of my um, Tim Holtz crayons and try that on the bottom bit and see what that's like it's quite fun to play um, just deciding what colour to put on there I think I might put blue on this one as I am a blue girl so I'm using my distressed um, crown from Tim Holtz and the chip sapphire one here's me saying I wasn't going to play on the video and here um, look at me I'm having a good old play so, so, you know, sometimes I've got a video in mind and then it goes off to something else. I am loving my Tim Holtz crayons. So I said I've got set two and I've got them in there. Um, so I'm hoping to get the other sets eventually. So I'm just going to roll up my sleeves because I can just guarantee I'll get this on there. Um, oh, crayons are work. The crayons actually are rubbing in easier than the... Um, the gilding wax on here so, so I'll just get my just clean myself up a bit otherwise I end up really grubby I don't mind getting grubby when crafting I've probably said that a lot too I hope I don't sound like a broken record in my videos and I know I've definitely said that so I'm just going to buff this in a bit oops crinkled the up then so this will this is like rubbed it um rubbed it off quite a bit but it has gone into like the um I can't think of it crevices it's gone into the crevices of that so it's turned out really I'm liking that so um this one I'll probably cut down I don't or I might leave it as a hole actually I think I'm going to leave that as a hole I think because I've got an idea of who I might be giving this to because these are probably going to be um this one's definitely going to be for my own use so yeah I have to say I'm quite impressed how that's turned out so let's just get that off of there. Again, good old scrap bits of paper. So if I can, I don't know if I've got one. Oh yes, I have. I haven't got like a proper um, what's it called? 
I mean, I know these are called an emery board, but the um, sanding blocks that you get for that, so I'm just going to sand off some of this and have a play. So I hope I'm, you know, because this wasn't quite planned for me to do on video, and now I'm getting quite into it, so I'm hoping you're liking it too. I mean, I love Christmas. I stop making um, Christmas cards sort of mm, probably beginning of I'm just trying to think when I stop really um, November sort of the middle of November I stop it just um, depends on how orders are and stuff like that but I normally stop making Christmas cards round I will just say if you are doing this just be a little bit careful because I've just scratched the middle of the car but it can all be part of my grungy effect um, yeah so I probably stopped making Christmas cards middle of November something like that unless orders come in and people say oh you couldn't make me some um, so yeah, middle of November I pretty much stop and then I probably start again no, uh, probably February, April time I start again because um, I make them, I've probably said before, um, yeah I make them for charities and stuff like that and then orders so yeah I really probably, but I love Christmas, I just love it, I'm such a kid. So, I'm going to get some kitchen roll just to buff that up because I haven't got a proper um, thing. Oops, I am really crinkling this. It's very easy to um, crinkle this um, foil, that's the word. So that's given it quite a nice distressed look. So I might get an ink pad and go over that. So I'm hoping you aren't minding my thing. I think I might go over this with the green. So I've got the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Pad Pine Needles, so I thought green and pink would be quite fun to do. I could use that, but I'm going to be naughty and just go straight in with the actual ink. So it's going a bit watery on the non-embossed, but on the embossed it's going quite nicely I think. I'm getting a real collection of stuff. If you could see what's behind me, behind the camera. So, just going to wipe that. So, it's given it a bit of a tinge, but not as much as the gilding waxes or um, the crayons. This is just sort of wiped off, maybe because it's, um, it's more of an inky substance. But it's still... It has done really nice. Oh, I do like that. So that's been quite fun to test out. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is take the um, stuff off again. But then I'm going to probably go over with um, the Timmy Holtz crayon. Because I really like, I like that more, I think. I like how that sort of went actually into the crevices on that one. So, yeah, this was a bit unplanned the playing, but it's been quite good fun. I hope it's been okay for you lot and not too too boring. And of course, when I've made these into cards, I will show them on a video. This would definitely be a lot easier to do if I had the proper um, the proper um, tool. I like the Crafters Companion one. I know there are other makes out there, but I'm just making do because if I'm spending crafty money, then at the moment I'd rather build up some supplies than something that I can improvise with. Oh, this has really made the pine cones um, pop. 
pop them on. So let's give this a go. Let's get rid of that and that because they're all really quite gungy. Get another bit of kitchen roll because you can tell I'm going to need that. Um, now what colour shall we put on there? I think I might use this green. I probably this isn't my most fave one to use. It's peeled paint, but some of you said you actually quite liked it. So stuff like that. But. So I'm just going to go all over with this, and I really these are definitely my fave, but. It's not the cheapest one to have in your stash, but never mind. Oh, I start to sing then. That's not good for anyone. Oh, crumbs. Oh, no, me and singing. Big no, no. Right, so. Yes, the crayons work much better when you've um, sanded back the um, top layer of the foil. Oh, that is nice. It's really nice. Oh, I don't know if any of you have seen the new Tim Holtz Christmas Idology. I'm saying that wrong, but I hope you know what I mean. His new Christmas like embellishment stuff. That's easier to say. It is absolutely lovely. So I'm hoping. I know one of the craft sites I buy from, Craft Obsessions. I know. Um, I know they've done pre-orders, but which I could do, but money's quite tight because. Um, I've said in loads of videos, so I'm sure you're all bored of hearing it. I really do need to get a lamp for the lounge. Then I need to get a zed bed for the spare room because the other one broke. Um, and my laptop is slowly, slowly dying, so I need to sort that out as well. So um, crafty spending's gone probably a bit out the window for a while. Cause this will all have to go on the credit card. So I'm just going to buff this up a bit. So that's really turned out really nice. So I am definitely going to have to keep an eye out for these um, fo um, foils. Because that's really, just really nice. I love it. So that was a bit of an unplanned thing. So I was just going to show you how they embossed. And now I've ended up playing... So I'm going to say goodbye and I will come back once I've made them into cards just so you can see what I've sort of done. So take care, hope to see you all soon and if you like this give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I will subscribe back. See you all soon, bye.